Morning, 16th of March 2018. I want to talk about Gavin Williamson. Oh dear. He's Defence Secretary for anybody who doesn't know, and he's been come on television yesterday in a live interview. And he's told uh, President Putin to shut up and go away, or to go away and shut up. I'm not sure which way he said it, but. Well, that should do the trick, shouldn't it? The Ruskies will be straight back in the box now. I mean, there's this massive public outcry, people spoiling for war, mostly Tories, a few Labour backbenchers. And I'm thinking, do you know what? We had a vote on Brexit. Let's have a vote if we want to go to war with Russia or not. And I, I would think it'd be an overwhelming no. I'd hope it would be because we don't stand a chance. We've got a tin pot army. They've made cuts to army, made cuts to navy, made cuts to air force. We've only got about two ships, I think, two. We've got nothing anyway to deter Russia. And uh, and I think if they keep upsetting Putin, he's probably going to do that with gas. We get 35% of this gas from from Russia. He turns that off with snooker. Can't even cook a centre meal, most of us. Or eat his houses. Oh, we're at the mercy. And the, all they're arguing about is, is somebody... Somebody's killed a Russian spy, well, attempted to kill a Russian spy. They've not killed him, they've tried. Uh, and finger points, he does point to Russians, but he's a Russian spy at the day. He's committed treason against Russia, and he, he's not just done it for all, he's done it for money, and then he's come to live in England, uh, hoping to live happily ever after. Well, it don't work like that. I mean, so if he dies, I don't want him to die, but if he dies, you can understand why they've killed him. He, uh, he's, he's, well, he's committed treachery, treason, whatever you want to call it. But as for Gavin Williamson and that, that speech, just have a quick look who we've got guided into all. We've got him, we've got Boris Johnson, Theresa May, Philip Hammond, Michael Fallon, David Davis. They're all nutters, man. They're all nutters. And none of them will be anywhere near a, near a gun when there's any fighting to be done. All they're doing is hoping to benefit. And the bigger picture is, why are Russians getting to our government money? Why? As you said that, I ain't got a clue. If, if Russia were donating money to the Labour Party, there'd be absolute mayhem and hell on, calling them all bloody uh, traitors. But I want to say this, them Russians and Tories are hand in hand, they go each other, they're in each other's pocket. And for me, the sooner we get this lot out, the better.